Hello everybody, this is iCrad22. Today I want to show you this little contraption that I came up with. Uh, I've been working on my potion room uh, recently and I wanted to be able to um, toss my water bottles into a single um, chest or a dropper and have it separate into three separate chests for my potions. So this was what I came up with. Uh, right now I have three chests. They're all empty and I have uh, three sets of 18 uh, bottles and I'm gonna go ahead and toss it here so let me go set game mode to zero first and I'm gonna go ahead and toss the bottles in there's one two and the last set of 18 okay and if this separate evenly there should be two stacks or two rows of water bottles in each chest so there's two rows there two rows there and two rows there okay let me give you a brief rundown on how this works i don't plan to make a tutorial on this unless there's a you know a big demand for it so let me know if you guys want a uh, tutorial anyways uh the first row right here this is um, what transports the water bottles across pretty self-explanatory but the row below is um, where the redstone begins and basically what I have is on the first hopper is uh, vines or you can use any dummy items but I use vines and they fill up all the slots except the first one same thing for the second hopper but this is where it gets a little bit different on the third hopper you want to have 6664 and I'm going to explain that in a little bit um, what happens is when the first water bottle runs through this slot is empty so this will be filled up so let me just go guess get some water bottles to demonstrate okay so you put items through or water bottles through and it's gonna enter this hopper and it's gonna be able to come through but the second uh, water bottle isn't gonna be able to uh, enter this hopper so it's gonna skip it and it's gonna hit this hopper when it hits the third hopper it's gonna turn this comparator to the second power right now this comparator is only powering this block but as soon as another water bottle enters it it's gonna power the second block and it turns off this torch which will depower this redstone line this redstone line right now along with these blocks is uh, powering the third row of hoppers so right now the third row is not accepting items from the hopper above as for the brief second that this redstone uh, line turns off um, these uh, the hoppers below is able to accept a single item and that's when the water bottle on top gets sent down to the chest below um, you want to put another row down here because um, what happens is uh, the water bottle will fall to this hopper and if you just put a chest right here um, it's not gonna have enough um, time to make it to the chest below so if you put a hopper right uh, below this other hopper it's gonna um, take in the item even though this hopper is powered so that's just a little bit of um, hopper logic uh, okay and that's essentially how this uh, whole setup works okay I primarily made the system to separate water bottles for my potion room but uh, with a little bit tinkering you can set it up um, to work with stackable items as well so uh, what I have is six coal right here and in this side I have six beef and it's going to be connected to three furnaces so I'm going to run the coal first coal is gone there should be two in each furnace two, two, and two now I'm going to run the food and it should start cooking if you notice they all came on at the same time and I have two two and two and as soon as those done they're gonna go in this chest automatically one one and one uh, this has a little bit of food in there when I was testing it and basically you can make it work um, for 15 chests like around 15 probably not 15 maybe like 13 and this um, system I have it set up to work with um, five chests and basically what it is is you have to work with the wiring 
and since there's a lag between the ticks, there's uh, several ticks here, you're gonna have to dispense the items more slowly. So right now these chests should be empty. Well they should have been. I'm gonna toss the items out. Okay, and I have 10 uh, red blocks of redstone. And we'll put it into this chest. It's gonna run through this dropper. This dropper has a clock connected to it so that it's gonna reduce the time of travel so that you know the system works. Or I'm gonna have this world available for download so you guys can just check this out yourselves or I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.